Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to your daily update on Arbitrum. Uh, in this video we'll take a look uh, briefly at some fundamentals around Arbitrum but then we will very very quickly dive into the technicals as well because right now, as you can see, we just had a major bullish breakout. Um, above this level at around 1.22 and 1.21, so we'll talk about that, what's next. Um, and um, yeah, it, it, it looks very well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And before we get into it, I do want to say that if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment. And there you'll find instructions on how to join the group, but also trading results if you're interested in that. All right. So before we get into this, uh, the, this beautiful, beautiful bullish breakout, which is uh, above this major trend line right here, as you can see, was very well respected and after we started some bullish momentum right here with the with the bullish breakout yesterday with the inflation rate and right now perhaps continuing because of the uh, ethereum shanghai upgrade before we get into that <laughs> let's talk about some fundamentals um i i try to do that every once in a while um for arbitrum right now the the total value locked has been stable for a while now um, which is actually a bullish thing because usually what you see is that total value locked kind of goes together with the to with, with, with the price. And right now you can, for example, see that even though uh, the price isn't as high as the 31st of March, for example, uh, the total value locked is still at that price point. Um, daily transactions and daily active addresses are high, but not necessarily that bullish, not growing that much, but still fine. So fundamentally, Arbitrum is doing fairly well. And apart from that, right now, and so obviously also quite correlated with ethereum ethereum has just had the shanghai upgrade did not have a massive sell-off so there is some bullish momentum coming into the whole ecosystem of arbitrum uh, optimism that type of stuff uh, so right now the biggest thing is is that we have already had this bullish breakout the candle just closed we broke above this level around 1.22 the 302 fib trend line major bullish breakout um now the big question is is we are at this resistance at 1.26 and 1.25. Can we break above that as well? Um, and I am not sure. It depends. I think we will find resistance first. But if from that resistance, for example, we can hold 1.22 as a support and then try to break above it again, then I think we can break above that and really start some sort of a rally up to 1.31, 1.32. Uh, so that definitely is a possibility right now. Um, it just depends on what kind of resistance we get. Uh, I do expect some resistance. I mean, there, there's also a slight chance if that happens, then I was wrong, but I, I still want to tell you. There's also a slight chance that, that we'll just break above 1.26 now. Um, then the same thing happens. We'll get up to 1.31, 1.32 with an increased chance of a rally. Um, I think though, uh, right now, Bitcoin and Ethereum are also at resistance, therefore, together with that Arbitrum is also at a major resistance. Um, 1.25 is a psychological resistance level, 0 0.5 FIB, normal key level. Um, so that combination leads me to believe that we will find some resistance. But then again, I mean, as I said, if we can hold 1.22 then and get back up to 1.25, I think that second time we will break above that. So that's what we're waiting for now. Um, if for some reason, which I would not say is the most likely scenario, but if for some reason we drop down to 1.22 and we just kind of stay on top of that and keep dropping down lower, then it's more likely that we'll get into some sort of a consolidation before we can rally perhaps later. Um, but as I said, I mean, with the, with, with the current momentum, technicals and fundamentals for Arbitrum, that's not what I expect. So this is my take, my analysis on the Arbitrum for today. If you do have any questions, then let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.